Hey there, this is David from the True Blue Sand Blog again, and today we're going to look at cutting small diameter leaners again. And I'm going to back up here so I can move the camera and show you. We've got a black cherry tree here. Got a black cherry here, multiple stems. We're going to take off this worst one here for a demonstration. You see it's darn near horizontal. And uh, we've done a few of these before. And I'm going to move this camera in a little closer here. And so we can see the action. There we go. There we go. Got her moved in close so we can see what's going on here. And I'm going to uh, get out in front here and describe what we're going to do. Um, the trouble when you're... Uh, Okay, we're gonna work right here. The trouble when you cut one of these small diameter leaners is you have so much weight pulling that thing forward that the tree, you know, if you cut it from the back side, that tree will go into motion while you have too much wood here in the hinge area. And that makes a lengthwise split. You get a barber chair, and that's dangerous and also hard to clean up. So what we have demonstrated before is we'll make an opening like you would on any tree and then rather than plunge through it uh, with the bar perpendicular to the stem I've been doing it with the bar uh, in line with the stem and that's worked really well I've had good luck with that but we had uh, we had a comment that it looked like uh, one of the people who watched one of the videos thought that it looked like we'd be causing the thing to split by doing that lengthwise cut. Well, not really worried about that, uh, but it does look like it would do that. But what happens when you, when you do this to make the back side of your hinge, <coughs> you still got your hinge here standing on the hinge and the back strap. That tree doesn't really want to split, but it does look bad. It looks like the beginning of a split. So what we're going to do we're going to try to make it look a little neater, maybe be a little safer, and safe is always good. We'll make an opening, and rather than plunge this through in line with the stem, uh, above the, uh, the center of that open face, I'm going to plunge cut it below the center of the open face, keep the cutting uh, out of the the log area back here in the stump. Keep it back here in the stump and rather than make it make the bar so it's in line with the stem I'm going to angle it and I think that's going to be a pretty good system. I think it'll be neat. If you had a small stem you could just continue right on out. Anyway I'm going to fire up and let me see. Yeah I can put it out here where we have plenty of room. So I'll make my open face uh, bore cut it back here in the stump area and we'll see how we do and uh, we'll stop and let you get a good look at that before we do the next cut every time. So we'll give that a try and see how we do. First time I've tried this we'll see how it goes. this camera so we're in line with that a little better and let me see if I got it there we go let's zoom in on that a little bit there we go here we've got our we've got our open face which allows the tree when you're going to leave a hinge here that open face allows the tree to rotate on the hinge that's very important now what we've been doing, I'll run through this again, I've been plunge cutting it, you leave a hinge, I've been plunge cutting it up here to establish a hinge 
and then after we have it plunge cut I'll cut it through up here and uh, anyway that made uh, a few people nervous I'm gonna back it out just a little bit here we go just line up I need a cameraman there we go okay but so what we're gonna do now we're gonna fire up we're gonna plunge cut this thing at an angle in the stump and uh, I can cut on out the back it'll fail at some point you have so much leverage here at some point the back strap will fail but uh, anyway we're gonna leave about it now one of the dangers you run into when you're doing a uh, leaner if you leave that hinge too thin it will crush and trap your saw that's one of the, that's one of the things I've worried about when I do the the cutting up here in the in the upper part you know above the stump I worry about getting that too thin if I get that too thin this thing's gonna settle down and trap my saw that would be bad I think by going back here to put it in I think I eliminate that possibility of having my saw trapped if I misjudge the thickness of that hinge but I think if we leave a good inch uh, we'll be fine I think it won't crush so that's one of the things you think about normally like on, on a 10 inch tree you'd leave oh you, know, you know three quarters to one inch hinge uh, but when you have all that weight forward already you need a little bit more to support it you don't want to get so thick that you cause the tree to split you know if you make that hinge say that thick that that tree's going to split you got to get it thin enough the wood can bend not so thick that it won't bend but if you make it too thin that tree will settle and trap your saw when you're up here so we're going to put it down here i think it'll prevent us from getting a saw trapped if that if we misjudge that so the tricky part for me on this is uh seeing where the where that uh where the other side of this is so i'm gonna plunge in here and we'll cut back like that. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh. Yes, it looks pretty good. I am going to take this off of the tripod for a second so we can get up and have a look at that. Okay, you can see our face. I've plunge cut that. You can see right through there. And you can see I left the hinge area right here. And that stem is standing on the hinge and the back strap and from this point yeah, I can keep cutting on an angle go out that way or I could cut or I could cut straight in here so I'm going to put this back on the tripod get you mounted here again there we go and get up in front here There we go. Are we? Yeah, we're recording. Okay, so I think what we'll do, I'm going to stick the saw back in here and uh, cut that right on out. And that will drop down real quick when I cut that.
Okay, that went really well. Now let's have a look at that. Okay, that worked okay. You see we've got our face, didn't quite close. The hinge is still holding. Hinge is still holding. And I cut right on out the back. Wasn't any hurry. We could have cut straight in. Anyway, I think this is going to be a method worth using. Looks good. Anyway, that's a way you can cut a small diameter leaner without it splitting or trapping your saw. So, anyway, I just got to cut up my mess now. So, anyway, give that a try. Be real careful when you do it. Think out every step and don't cut that hinge too thin or you'll trap your saw or don't cut it too thick or you'll split your tree.